Hey, Ethan here, and in this episode, we'll be looking at Wii Sports Resort for the Nintendo Wii. It's the third best selling game on the Wii, and now it's time for some brief development history. Wii Sports Resort was developed by Nintendo E&D after they released Wii Sports back in 2006 as a launch title and packing for the Wii. It was first revealed at E3 2007 and then demonstrated at E3 2008. Wii Sports Resort was then released on July 26, 2009 here in North America with a new accessory called the Wii Motion Plus. More on that later. Now it's time to finally play Wii Sports Resort. When booting up Wii Sports Resort for the first time, we are forced to watch the Wii Motion Plus video, which just explains how to put the accessory on and off. It just adds an extra accelerometer to the Wii remote for more precise motion tracking and is required to play Wii Sports Resort. We then have our Mii jump out of an airplane and has you twist the Wii remote to fully use the Wii Motion Plus and join hands with our Mii's and then parachute onto the new island called Wuhu Island, which has appeared in many other Nintendo games since. We are then transferred to the main menu with 12 sports in total, 7 more compared to the 5 in the original Wii Sports. First up, Swordplay. There are 3 separate modes to this sport, with the first one being Duel, which has you and another player or me try to hit each other off the platform. You need to win at least 2 rounds to be considered the winner, and can go up to 3 rounds. The next mode under Swordplay is Speed Slice, which has you and another player or me compete to destroy a variety of random objects until one side destroys up to 10 objects. The next mode under Swordplay is Showdown, which has you go through several levels taking out a variety of different Mii's, which you can only get hit 3 times. It also changes the type of day after you fail an attempt and has 10 stages. Next up, Wakeboarding. This has you hold the weird remote horizontally and try to score as many points as possible by doing tricks within a certain time limit and has 3 difficulties. Next up, Frisbee. We have two game modes for this, with the first one involving a dog, which has us try to throw the frisbee into one of these rings, but that didn't really work during the recording process. The next game mode is Frisbee Golf, which has us play either 3, 9, or 18 holes and acts like if you're playing golf, but with a frisbee instead. Next up, Archery. You need to plug in the Wii Nunchuck for this, to properly simulate using a bow and arrow to shoot targets. It goes on for 3 stages and has 3 difficulty levels. Next up, Basketball. We have two game modes for this, with the first one being 3 point contest, which has you shake the Wii remote as if you're hitting a bell, and try to shoot the balls into the hoop at various angles within a certain time limit. The next game mode is Pickup Game, which has you play with other Mii's and feels like an actual basketball game, with you trying to shoot the ball into the hoop without the other team getting the ball. Next up, Table Tennis. There are two game modes for this, with the first one being Match, which just has you hit the ball back and forth against your opponent until one side gets at least 6 points. The next mode is Return Challenge, which just has you hit balls back and forth as long as you can. Next up, Golf. It feels the same from the original Wii Sports, but allows you to play 3, 9, or a full 18 holes and has the resort setting in the original Wii Sports setting. Next up, Bowling. It has 3 separate game modes for this, with the first one being Standard Game. It plays just like the original Wii Sports, but feels more accurate. The next mode under Bowling is 100 Pin Game, which had you try to knock down 100 pins for 10 frames with 2 attempts for each. The next mode under bowling is spin control. It has you try to get the bowling ball to hit the pins with a variety of blockers in the way. I'm not very good at this mode. Next up, power cruising. This has you ride on a jet ski by holding the Wii remote and nunchuck sideways with you trying to get to the gates as fast as possible with some bonuses. It also has a small variety of locations. Next up, Canoeing. There are two game modes for this, with the first one being Speed Challenge. This has you use the Wii Remote as if you are paddling a canoe to try to get to the finish line as fast as possible. There is also a Versus mode as well. Next up, Cycling. There are two game modes for this, with the first one being Road Race, with 1, 3, and 6 stage race with multiple courses. It had to use the Wii Remote and Nunchuck to simulate riding a bicycle. For stage 1 race, you start out in 30th place and try not to lose one of your 3 hearts because it will cause your Mii to slow down and drink water. The main objective is to finish the race in the highest possible rank. 
3 stage race has you do the same thing with you starting out in 50th place and working your way up through 3 different courses back to back. The next mode is 6 stage race with you doing the same thing from 3 stage but with you starting out at 100th place and going through all 6 courses back to back. There is also a versus mode as well. The last sport is air sports with 3 game modes, with the first one being skydiving which is the exact same thing you do in the opening of the game. The next mode is island flyover, which has you fly a plane all over Wuhu Island to find locations and secrets. You can also change the type of day, and also a dogfight mode for 2 players. And that is Wii Sports Resort, one of my favorite games on the Nintendo Wii and one of the best games on the system overall. But why is the canoeing so difficult?